So here we are. We're just about ready to get fishhawk ready for the water again this year. And there's a number of things that have to be done before the boat goes overboard. Maybe check the cutlass barren, change the oil, do a load test on the battery, different things like that. But the most important thing to us right now is to remove this stain that's along the water line here. Now, it's got a hold of the porosity in that gel coat and uh, it really has to be taken off with an acid. Uh, you just wouldn't want to take a buffing wheel and buff it and get that stain all over the buffing wheel. You wouldn't be able to use it for the rest of the boat. All right, we're using a little china bristle brush here to spread this white knight onto the boat because this stuff could actually melt plastic bristles. So these are natural bristles. And I'm painting it on in one direction. Just makes it easy for me to keep track of where I am and uh, get a nice little thick coat on there. So we're just going to continue down the port side here, brushing it on liberally. And I've decided to put a little bit up under the guard rail uh, because I've noticed a few stains up there. And we're going to go all the way around the whole boat. I'm going to go down the port side, around the transom, and up the starboard side. And uh, we're going to let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes before we rinse it off. Now, we didn't need to tape off the bottom because we're just taking care of the top side first. And then after the top side's all taken care of, we'll tape off the top side when we paint the bottom. Now we want to make sure we get it everywhere, so I'm going to look up at the bottom of the spray rail and just make sure I've applied it to the entire bottom of that spray rail. And then we're just going to continue on. Go in your direction, too. And uh, we're going to let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes before we rinse it off and uh, get the entire boat wet, because you don't want this product to dry on the hull in the sunlight. So that would make it a little bit harder to take off. So what you do is you rinse the boat down, rinse off everything that will come off by itself, and pick up your scrub brush. So I'm just going to hold up for a second and show you that this stuff has already worked up in here. It's removed all of this very lighter stain, and all I have left to do is scrub some of the heavier stain off. And lean right into it down there. Get your face right up close so that you can see exactly what you're doing. You wouldn't want to scrub it from a distance and just say that the stain was off. You want to get a good look at it and scrub it, and scrub it plenty, and uh, just get everything off that will come off and then rinse it again. Now you can see how well of a job it's already done. It's just done a great job. Most of the light stain is totally gone without scrubbing at all. And you could see the darker stains as we scrubbed it just run right off the boat. The stuff just works great. And uh, this stuff doesn't damage the gel coat or the paint in any way. So it can stay on there for quite a while. And uh, we're holding the hose in one hand and pointing it away from the boat and away from ourselves so we don't make a puddle under the boat. And uh, scrubbing it with the right hand and holding the hose in the left hand. And anytime we want to just bring the hose in and spray along as we're scrubbing, it's fine. So that's all there is to it. We just rinsed it off, kept it wet, and scrubbed it. And you can see that all of that stain is already gone. There might be a couple little persistent spots, but we can go ahead and do it again. Now we're just going around looking for some residual stains and doing a second coat, but I just wanted to point out that this was all stained around this deck drain, the stainless steel, and we've applied that white knight to that stainless steel and it removed every bit of that stain around both of these deck drains and uh, it really looks good. Now that we've let that second coat work for a little while, we're gonna just rinse it off very quickly. Maybe just do a slight little bit of brushing on it. Now, like I said, I'm gonna rinse and spray at the same time here. There you go, now we've just finished rinsing off our second application and you can see that it's removed almost all of the stain, if not all of it, and it looks great. I uh, wanna just give you a couple little pointers about rinsing. You don't really wanna point your hose straight at the hull because the water splashes back and gets you all wet, and especially considering we're rinsing off some oxalic acid here. So what we do is we spray it on an angle so all the splashing doesn't get back on us. So now look how well it's worked. This was the area where it had some of the worst staining and all of it's removed. It just worked fantastic. And uh, now the thing to do is buff it and wax it and uh, paint the bottom and put her in.